Hello friends. How are you? Welcome to your YouTube learning channel, Accurate, ASME, ISO. We will learn in this video, all about, true position. What is true position? Why plus and minus tolerances, are not used, for controlling distances. What is significance, of true position? What are implied controls, of location tolerances? Also, we would learn, how to represent, symbolically, on the drawing. And how, true position, is measured on parts. And yes, please do not forget, to subscribe this channel to receive regular videos on GDNT and CMM. Like and share it, to allow others to learn. Let us, start now. True position, is a location tolerance. It controls distances, as well as, orientations of the features. Let us use, following assembly, to understand, true position, in better way. GDNT never recommend, to apply, plus minus tolerances, to locate features. The assembly describes, fitting of a pin, into a hole. The drawing shows, a hole is located, from one of the corner, at lower left of the part. The vertical nominal vol is 100 mm, and horizontal nominal value is 120 mm. For both the values, tolerances applied are, plus minus 0.1 mm. Now what exactly is the graphical meaning, of these tolerance values, let us discuss. The center of hole axis, must locate between minus 0.1 mm to plus 0.1 mm in both directions. The area within which, part is supposed to be ok, is create a square zone. It is called a square tolerance zone. A point to remember is, plus minus tolerances, always create a square or rectangular tolerance zone. On this slide, you see a part having a hole diameter 50 mm, located at nominal distances of 120 mm, in X axis and 100 mm, in Y axis. Also, a pin of diameter 49.720 mm, is located exactly at nominal values. This is a hypothetical case, to understand, the true position in better way. The tolerance zone is, square of 0.2 mm, by 0.2 mm. Note, a circle is passed, through four corners, of a square tolerance zone. Let us, assume that, hole is manufactured, exactly at 120 mm and 100 mm. Now, keeping this hole, as stationary, we will analyze virtually, what happens, when pin is shifted, at different locations, in manufacturing. In condition number 1, the axis of the pin, is shifted at corner point, A. This condition accept the pin boundary, lying inside, the boundary of a hole. Also by measurement with instrument, the shift is recorded 0.1 mm, in horizontal and vertical directions. This obviously leads, a part to get quality passed. In condition number 2, the axis of the pin, is only shifted, in vertical direction, at point B. If we measure a part, with instrument at quality room, it get rejected because, it is measured, more than a 0.1 mm, tolerance limit. If we carefully observed, the situation, we will see the boundary of pin, lies within the boundary of the hole. Even, when you measure, the distance from center, to point A, and point B, both distances are equal. Being both the parts are round in shape, at any 360 degrees, shifting of the axis, of a pin, the part get accepted. Therefore, GDNT, never recommend to apply, plus minus tolerance, but the diametrical tolerance zone. If instead of square tolerance zone, a diametrical tolerance zone is applied, it gives, 57% more tolerance. This is direct benefit of GDNT, 
just applying tolerances, GDNT way. It will give a guarantee of assembly that, the part qualified OK, surely assembled, and part which is disqualified never get assembled. Position tolerances control locations, as well as orientations, of the features. The figure describes the three condition, of the acceptance of the part. The condition number one is, nominal condition, where actual axis of the whole is, exactly coincided with true position. The condition number two explains, the actual whole axis, can be shifted half of the total position, or diametrical tolerance zone. And the condition number three, itself demonstrate that, the cylindrical tolerance zone, allows actual axis, to orient within the diametrical tolerance zone. This concludes, position controls shift, with half of the nominal tolerance, and allow full diametrical value, to orientation, with respect to the top surface. Hope that, you have liked this video, with very easy and simple explanations. You can comment how do see this initiative and suggest more on upcoming videos. Also we are pleased to conduct training programs at your locations in factories. We offer AUCOM, Germany, an international CMM certification course. Basic of GDNT. Advanced GDNT. Stack up tolerances. Surface finish. MSA and other quality tools. For further details, please contact us. And I'm sure you will encourage the initiative of training through YouTube, by subscribing a channel. Accurate, ASME, ISO. Thank you and have a good day.